Let's get the first couple onto the rink. He's taken to the ice like a duck to water. It's Duncan James. <laughs> Despite Duncan's strong performance last Saturday, the elimination of Foxy and Pam was a real wake-up call. I guess now the actual show started, it's become more of a competition and, and knowing that Foxy went, just all became real. So I think everyone is stepping it up a gear. With just six days to learn a brand new routine, Duncan and Maria have to pull out all the stops. I was all nice and smiles the first week. Now it's mean, Dunk. Our first routine was quite a slow routine, but week two is pretty tough. We're doing the bambaleo. That is fast, furious, and crazy. Could I have some maracas? <laughs> As well as having to master the required element, the relentless pace of this week's routine is proving too much for Duncan. You have to put a lot of energy into it, so it's kind of hard. The pressure is on. God, it's knackering some more. I think the hardest part is going to be the speed and the timing. It's just so fast. And getting it right on, otherwise it's out the window. to Bambaleo. Please welcome onto the ice Duncan James and Maria Filippo. Interpretation by our two birds of paradise. Our flamenco dancing matador was joint third on the judges' score last week. But Hunky Duncan and Maria have sparkle and chemistry, and their transitions are very smooth. Well, can they improve on 21 points? This is the knee slide and spins. Then the compulsory spiral. Then the carry lift, and they ended with that terrific sequence of toe steps, flamenco style. Well, here's the scores. First, Nikki, four. Natalia, 4.5. Jason, 4.5. Karen, 4.5. Robin, 4.5. What a total, 22 to start. What a great start to the program. Well done. Thank you. You were very worried that you were a bit out of shape and that you wouldn't be able to speak when you got over here. How are you now? What, going out first and doing a routine like that, it's pretty tough, but uh, yeah, it's cool. We've a lot faster a, than last week. It's a lot faster. Last week was really slow, so doing something like this this week has been uh, really challenging. But And the, uh, the required element? Well, I thought the required element was really good. The leg was, or the foot that was above the hip, so we're all good in that place. Well, Can I get my leg up, Jace? <laughs> <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> Let's find out what they've got to say. Ollie. Hunky Dunk's done good, Jason. I'm going to let you answer that question. Was it bueno, hard? Belando, Senor Duncan. It Mucho gracias, Senor. I mean, it was a very good, dramatic interpretation. I, I mean, it was like strictly ballroom on ice, and, uh, and you, you performed it beautifully. And your leg, up the back, was very nice. <laughs> Thank you, Jace. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Uh, Robin, how are you? 
How does no, that feel? Terrific. I have to say, when I heard this was your music, I was um, a little concerned because Chris actually did say last week, we need to get him to calm down. So I was a little worried it was going to be a little, almost too much too soon for you, but you coped extremely well, and I'm very proud of the fact that you managed to keep your feet underneath you whilst doing this great dramatic presentation. Thank you. Oh, thank you, judges. Thank you. That's a, that's a huge leap forward. If you don't want us to be saying home, James, then you need to pick up the phone and vote for him when the lines open at the end of the show. His number's on screen now. Duncan and Maria! <laughs> Rika Johnson, Stephen Gately, and find out why Kay Burley's been hitting the headlines. Is that your head? Yeah. <laughs> 